I can't, can't tell you how <laughs> gripping episode one, which we've seen, is. We've discussed fully. Um, thrilled to have Jason in this morning. Good morning oh. to you. Good morning. I, I mean, there's a few little bits in that that we hadn't seen, no. which is really oh, yeah. exciting. Yeah, yeah. Like, watching this, there's that he's such an identifiable character, and you're constantly asking yourself the question, what would you do if you were in that situation? I've got a sense of it there, but for our viewers who won't have seen it, because it's on tonight, it's mm. at 9 o'clock, the first one, just explain a little bit about what's going on. Well, he's a kind of dedicated family man, and he falls prey to a victim of the kind of local youth who are kind of doing petty vandalism around his street, which sadly occasionally happens. And because the, the stress he's under at work, he's getting a bit older, you know, like all of us, and the work, his job's getting younger, as it were, and the person who he trained is now his boss, and, you know, there's a difficult relationship. So he's feeling a tension, and it's a hard-fought life because... His daughter was a, is a, was from IVF, so you know, so he's constructed this world, and then all of a sudden, he's under pressure, and he makes this terrible decision when he's confronted with one of these boys, this 17-year-old, that he does the wrong thing, and he then suffers the consequences. But you're right, yeah, we're trying to. I think my job was trying to be identifiable with, with other people, like with you know, real people. How would you? Yeah. I'm not, I don't look like Tom Cruise. I'm not. I mean, a lot of people you say, say I do. Robert Redford, the list is very long. <laughs> but, um, you know, I wanted to be, what would you do in that situation? And, you know, kind of surrounded by this rather brilliant cast of, you know, people like Jonas Armstrong, he's terrified. And there's Joe Barber, that young actor just starting out his career, who was just extraordinary. Kayla Meikle, who's a young black actress who was, people, viewers may know from Time 2, the second series, yes. you know, and David Bradley and, and Claire Skinner, of course, yeah. I've worked with before. So. My job is just to be reacting against all these forces and carry the audience with me. So, and I know that you, you said some very kind things about the first episode, but it, it gets deeper and deeper. Well, it's that moment, isn't it, where it's, what would you do in that moment? And it would be so easy to make a mistake or in the split second, make a wrong decision. Yeah. And it's also following the story that you do so well with your character, where it's like, when is he going to hold up his hands and go, I did. Yeah. I, 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 Is it too deep to do that now? I mean, he honestly, seems to Jason, just be going yeah. further well, and further often in. Men, often men might. I mean, maybe this is a generalisation, but often men think, no, I can cope, I can deal with this, I'll take the burden off my family, I'll deal with it. But, of course, it just implodes, and there's a history of him being quite vulnerable and had mental health issues. So, so Claire's saying, you, what's wrong? Claire Skinner, who plays my wife, just really, who I've worked with many a time, yeah. you know, she's, so you all right, and he won't kind of own up. And, of course... The world starts to, you know, close in on him, and it all is all unraveling as that as that initial decision just becomes sort of the spiral. Yeah, and and Jonas Armstrong, yeah, obviously the lad that that I end up punching, mm -hmm. who I put in a coma. I think there's mm -hmm. no mystery about that. Mm -hmm. uh, is that um, you know, obviously we're not, we don't want him to wake up because then he'll he'll say what happened. There are only two of us there, by the way. There's only two of us on the street. But Jonas gives one of the most wonderful performances as the sort of gangland boss of, of Joe Barber. It's, I mean, it's a really yeah. remarkable performance and terrifying. So I don't have to do very much, you know. There's a kind, there's a little sort of stream of comedy in it because the sort of potential <laughs> disasters are so epic. Yes. That, you know, and it's great having people like Claire with me to, yeah. to, to reflect that. And it feels like they're just around the corner all the time. That's exactly the other that. thing. Yeah. Yeah. You feel as though they're just kind of any second it could all be exposed and it go yeah and and it and he's of course he's set up this lie but he's not a very good liar no, no. he's just a guy hopeless hopeless at it and so because he strikes me as the sort of person that's just always been really honest and open and authentic about who he is and yeah. a nice man he's just a nice... maybe how he's found himself where people are pushing him around and he feels a bit yeah and, and as it goes on you know there's other characters which are probably obvious now that are can con can control people can you know, get what they want, be effectual. And he perhaps sees himself being slightly ineffectual. And he's, mm -hmm. as I say, he's under a lot of pressure at work and which goes to the obvious extreme where he... I think I can say that he's losing his job. We say that's in the first... That's the mm -hmm. first time. Yeah, so, you know, there's the fear of that, the cost of living crisis, that's touched on, you know. And so how do you cope with those things? And the way to cope is to share, isn't it? Yes. You've you got to, to. Yes. share. 
open I, dialogue. Oh, yeah. You mentioned David Bradley, who we saw yeah. a little clip of him wow. in there, who uh, and 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 his character becomes clearly becomes more and more important as he mm. goes through. Mm. You filmed all this in Budapest. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Which I think is fascinating. You I asked there, the question. Yeah, yeah. I was like, it doesn't look like Budapest. No, I mean, what they, does Budapest look like? Yeah. It looks a bit like Warrington. Or well, whatever. it looks like well, this part of Budapest looks like Warrington. <laughs> I think it's kind of Warrington area, and, but uh, a lot of films a shot in Budapest because it looks like Paris and mm. it's easier to shoot there. And many American films and series are made there. So there's all the departments are incredibly skilled yes. and talented. So, you know, it was a real, it was a real, it's one of those jobs where you, and I've met many actors say this, but it was one of those jobs where the planets aligned and mm. everybody got on so well and was so committed to the project. It's a great script. So It's you know, also a great city to have a rap do in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I understand that you and David had quite a night on the, on the rap, too. Well, David, David did. I mean, uh, David did. I mean, we, we did. I mean, I had, like, one night off. I mean, I've, I mean every scene, so... Yeah. But, Dave, I mean, I've, David's such an amazing person. Uh, we're surrounded by amazing people, actually, and he's so inquisitive about life, and he is a dancer. Yeah. Uh, so, of course, when he goes out and dances, it's not just sort of, you know, rave or, you know, it's... or drill. <laughs> Which it is when you go room. Yeah, of oh, course, we, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I just do cardboard boxes, me, but uh, but yeah, he's, he can do a bit of ballroom, so ball and 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 he's a wonderfully, he's full of joy, David, and in his life, you know, he's got a wonderful family life, and he and he brings all that richness, I think, to his work, and that's one of the reasons why he's been so brilliant over the years. So, <laughs> excuse me, so. You know, we're so lucky to have somebody like him with us. And we're lucky to have you yeah, in this are. morning, Jason. Honestly, Kat and I love this. Yeah. Uh, it's stripped across the next four nights, isn't it, on Channel 5? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, at nine o'clock. It's absolutely gripping. I cannot wait. Brilliant. It's really annoying. I'm desperate. You know, in this day and age where we can get to binge things straight away, I was so angry that we only yeah. had the first episode. <laughs> I was like, the rest of it? Well, I think you'll be able to stream it at some point. Probably at the end, you can binge. binge. Watch it all. It's four episodes. It, it is beautifully binge worthy. So, yeah. Brilliant. But, Very much. Thank you. Thank and you. And great, great White Cross as well, by the way. Great punch. Yeah, yeah, it's fun, funny okay. that, isn't it? You wouldn't think that of me, really. Like, uh, well, it's know. always the quiet ones, yeah, they say, exactly. isn't it? Exactly. The one Keep that your turned, yeah. And by the way, he's an amazing gymnast, so there's strength in there. This is <laughs> what we know about. He can, I'll get him to do a handstand for you at some you point. You need to come back again. Come back again. Do my one handed Thank handstand. You. Thank Love you so much. Lovely CJ.